Hi, I'm Will Hammond. I'm the Agricultural and Natural Resource Educator with OSU Extension in Pike County. And today we're gonna to talk about tackling spring operations with reduced working days. So I'm part of the digital ag team with Ohio State Extension. And part of that team, we have what's called Precision University. Historically, Precision University is held in person in early January, talking about linking agriculture with all the digital and technological tools that are available to farmers today. This year, our program is gonna be going virtual to accommodate all of our COVID-19 restrictions to help make it a safer experience for all of our participants. The topic this year is tackling spring operations with reduced working days. The idea that we wanted to talk about today is that uh, farmers have just less time, it seems, in the spring to get everything done that needs to be done in a timely fashion to ensure that they get crops planted with the best opportunity to produce high yields. And so thinking about that, we decided that we wanted to break down different topics that would make it uh, good for farmers to kind of make these decisions in the spring when things maybe aren't ideal, but we're getting closer to that planting deadline when you wanna get things in. And this is just a, a good opportunity to hear some input from you know, digital ag folks from all across the country. So this is a four part program um, in the month of January, starting on January 5th. We have our first topic, it's gonna to be called Gambling with Planting Decisions. And we're going to have Dr. Aaron Wilson, who's with Ohio State University, he's our climatologist. And he's gonna talk about how weather patterns have changed in the spring and what he's expecting for a forecast this year and things that we should see as the, the season progresses. And we're gonna partner him with uh, Dr. Bob Nielsen, who is a agronomist with Purdue University. And we're gonna kind of just go through scenarios where you know, it's, it's this time of year, the soil temperature is at 40 degrees and what should we do? There's a rain coming tomorrow. We're just gonna kind of go step by step through making these decisions um, during that early spring window when you're trying to get stuff planted, but maybe things aren't most ideal. Following that program the next week on January 12th, we're gonna have a topic called improving fertilizer efficiency with a planter pass. And we're gonna have Matt Bennett from Precision Planning Technology and Dr. John Fulton from Ohio State University. And they're gonna kind of have a conversation about what technology is available to farmers now, uh, as far as being able to put that on their planter and maybe get more things done with one planter pass. So you're doing things in that field more than just playing the seed with that planter pass. Following that topic on this January 19th is a preseason crop protection decision. And we're gonna have Dr. Mark Laux and Dr. Scott Shear, both of the Ohio State University, talking about different technologies, different herbicides, kind of how these two uh, things tie together, uh, especially with that spring and then in season herbicide program that farmers are using now. Uh, we have several different herbicides this year. We have different crops that maybe people aren't used to growing as far as trait packages. And this is gonna be just a kind of science meets technology uh, conversation between Dr. Laux and Dr. Shear. And then our final program is going to be January 26th. And it's gonna be about sprayer technology to improve field performance. Um, we, for this topic, we've discussed Dr. We're, we're gonna discuss uh, different technology with the sprayer uh, with Dr. Joe Luck from the University of Nebraska. Um, Dr. Luck is an expert in this field. He has a lot of different trials and uh, techniques he's got going on with new technologies. Uh, it's gonna be a really innovative session. Uh, and we hope that you can join through that series. These uh, will take place starting at 10 a.m. Um, each of these events and they will last roughly an hour to hour and a half long. And it's just gonna be a live uh, session with the, our speakers and then a chance for question and answer at the end. Um, if you wanted to send any questions in before uh, these live events, you can email them to Amanda Doritas. Amanda's email is doritas.9 at osu.edu. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact her with any information and uh, we hope to see you guys at our program.